I'm not happy about it, but we're making the blooming onion because Dumb Max wanted to. And you know when I say dumb, I mean that in the nicest way possible. He's not dumb at all. In fact, he's very bright and I hate arguing with him because he often wins, even though I'm stubborn. I'm stubborn, right? Oh yes, very oh, yeah, stubborn. stubborn. But look, in full disclosure, we tried this once before and I failed at it. And it's been two years. And I don't think it's that complicated, but it's just maybe my head wasn't in the right space. Like today. Not really in the right space, but I'm gonna persevere. I'm, get, I'm gonna go for it. Right, boys? Yeah. Right. We're going for it. So here's the plan. We cut the onion, we get it marinating, we do the flour deal, and then we fry it. Literally, we, we should be out of here in about a half an hour. Unless we fail. Unless we fail. And if we fail, we'll keep this footage and just put it into the third attempt, which I hope there's not a third attempt. All right, let's prep the onion and get happening. Obviously, we're gonna begin with an onion. So, root end, and this is this business that sticks out the top. Uh, we have to make it flat on both sides, so using a knife, we'll take about this much off here. Look, that looks like a bad start, doesn't it? I think that's a bad onion. It's not great. Swap it out. Fortunately, I have four onions to choose from. Let's try this one. Better, 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 better. Uh, we also need here, but this is the root end. You don't want to disturb this too much because if you do, the thing's going to fall apart and that's critical. But we do want it sort of flat. So just like this should be enough. And now we peel. Of course, then I can't seem to peel. They have made seedless watermelons. Why can't we have paperless onions? Yeah, I don't know if you could hear that over the gardener, and, but... And gardenerless Thursdays. <laughs> Max is asking why can't they make paperless onions. And I'm sure they can. I don't know if they can. I mean, you're going to be peeling something off. Okay, so that looks all right. Uh, we're sitting relatively flat. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, now, here's the important part. Using a little Sam the Cooking Guy 4-inch paring knife, we're going to make these cuts all the way around, but we don't really want to go any higher than here because it will really disrupt what's inside. So knife goes in and we're down. So let's do it about the quarter point all the way around, quarter way. And once we've got these guys done, we'll come in. All right, so now what I want to do between these cuts, I'm going to make more. And this is pretty wide here. I wasn't exactly perfect. So I'm going to cut one in the middle down and then another one in between like this now this one I think I can only get two in so I'll do two this one two and this one two oh, maybe three. one two three all right so if we're living right we should be able to turn this over and now we're going to start to spread this open and have a look at it try and make it bloom before we do anything else all right, so now we need to open this kit up. Carefully, gently, gently. Be very careful. I feel like this is where I got in trouble last time, Max. I don't really remember, but. If you don't do this part successfully, when you brine it and then flour it, the flour and all the liquid is not gonna get into the right spots and it's not gonna be crispy all over. So we're really taking our time here because I don't want to do this dumb thing again. I want it to be right this time. So this is all we're doing. Just slowly, slowly. We're going to take this middle part out eventually. eventually. But for now, but for now, we're just going with it. So it's looking like, looking like a blooming flower thing, right? It does. Or an onion. Sometimes you won't cut all the way through, and then you just have to finish those. Feeling good so far. Wow. Don't oh, say I lost time. one. Shoot, I feel bad I lost one. I don't want to do that. You just gently, see like these guys are stuck together. So find your, your cut mark and just open them up. And these guys too can now start to come back. Let me take a second to talk to the people that have not gotten on board with the earbud phenomenon yet. And if you have, and you maybe have an inferior pair, oh, I'm about to change your world right now 
because Raycons are about to come into your life. We've been talking about these. I've been wearing these for, what, a year and a half now? Okay, fine, I'm in love. Look, I used to be that guy that had corded ones. And I'm telling you, for what I do in a kitchen with drawer handles and corners and stuff, I can't tell you how many times they've ripped out of my ears and pissed me off so bad. That's why these are genius, but not just because they're earbuds. It's because of what Raycon is doing with them. They are disrupting the electronics industry, disrupting by making great sound for everyone. And by the way, these start about half the price of the other premium earbuds on the market. Let me tell you why I love them. It's very simple. The Raycons give you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and that's important for me, and a more compact design for a comfortable, noise-isolating fit. And the company was co-founded by Ray J and celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Brandy and Mike Tyson. Their wireless earbuds come in a range of great colors and patterns, a variety of fit options. Check it out. Check it out. Ready? Look it. They're so tiny. They're so discreet. They go in like this. In and there they are. And here's the best part. I just got dizzy for a second. They don't fall out. How many times have they fallen out? These guys live there. Don't come out until you go boop and then they're out. Plus there's a 45 day free return policy. Here's what you do. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com forward slash STCG to get 15% off your purchase. 15% off and you'll be doing this and loving them like I do. Buyraycon.com forward slash STCG or just click the link below. You're gonna be so happy. And when you've got this guy the way you want it, opened up nicely and you've exposed that center core Enough, we're gonna take the core out. I'm just opening these guys up a little bit more. Exposing more of the center core. Captain, we're getting close to the center core. Con! So, con? Con, wow. Yeah, I don't remember doing this. You don't remember taking an hour? Uh, you were like so haphazard, I feel like. Uh, who, who would have thought that this thing could have taken as much time as it is? Looking lovely though. I don't know if I take this guy. I don't know if I take this guy out now or after. If only somebody had researched it ahead of time. I've I've done my research. Just not that part. (laughs) Stop it. So now how do I do that? Oh, oh, that's. I don't know if that's bad. We're like defusing a bomb. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and get this center core out now. It's exactly what it is. If I cut the blue wire. Don't cut the wrong wire. I'm effed. I can't imagine it takes this much time. You know what they sell? They sell a blooming onion cutter. There we go. I think I'm good. Feel good? I do. Looks great. Surprisingly. <laughs> if you feel good, how do you think I feel? Okay. <sighs> All right. It's buttermilk time. And like this, and like this. All right, so here's the thing, I've never had a blooming Onion at, uh, what's it called? Outback. Outback. But I'm guessing that the flavor profile is like that of onion rings. Have you had, anybody? Have you had? Beth has, Beth? Yes. Is it like onion rings? Lighter, Beth says lighter, but like onion rings. Since I have no idea, I'm gonna go with my own flavor profile and that will be in an Asian direction. So I'm only adding one thing to this, buttermilk. And that is some of my uh, oh so favorite uh, thick soy. So maybe, you know, maybe a couple tablespoons like that. Cool. And we mix. And if we know anything about soy, it's going to add that little extra je ne sais quoi in an umami-like way. And now we're going to take our buddy here absolutely as carefully as possible. I'm going to put him face down first in this. There you go, bud. Uh Uh-oh. Shit, I'm losing a couple of these. No, nothing I can do, right? Do this. And gently turn the kid over. And help open him up. You know, Max is probably horrified I'm doing this with just bare hands. I could have used gloves, but I'm okay with this. But it's really important that you get every part of this moistened with the buttermilk soy, or the flour dredging part is not gonna wanna stick. Okay, this we're gonna leave. 10, 15 minutes. But in the meantime, we'll make our flour dredge part. Our dredge looks like this. It looks like all-purpose flour. And I'm sort of using a decent amount because 
I need a lot of coverage, but I, I need space. I gotta like do this. Cornstarch. We like the combination of cornstarch and all-purpose flour. It makes stuff super crispy. We're gonna give ourselves a tablespoon or so. Did you just hear that? <laughs> it was a pterodactyl. I told you, San Chancy and I heard that the other day. What? And we were like, is it's there, right there. <laughs> eagle in that house? What do you mean? Oh my god, there it is. I just It's like a hawk. Yes. Holy sh oh, Can you isolate that, that sound? sound? Yes. Did that not sound like, like a pterodactyl? Was... And clearly we got distracted by the bird, but now we're back. Okay, so a little seasoning, and I'm using this um, salt pepper combination that actually has a little MSG in it. And I can't use too much of it because it's it's super salt and peppery, but we'll give it a really good flavor. And now this we will mix. We'll come back to this, but in the meantime, we'll make a little dipping sauce. All right, here's our sauce. We're gonna start with uh, some sour cream, a little shot of Japanese mayo, hoisin, which is sort of a, we've done this before, uh, it's ish, Japanese, sorry, Chinese-ish barbecue sauce, kinda. A little bit more. We're gonna taste this. A little sriracha, because I want this to be good. And I'm gonna throw in some of Chance's favorite roasted garlic paste. Love it. And we mix. If it's too thick, we'll thin it with some milk. Mmm. Wow, I think this is gonna be good. I think it's a little too thick for my liking. Got a little shot of milk. Beautiful. Look, you know, just because a blooming onion has a certain profile where you've eaten it, doesn't have to be like that here. Let's try that. A little more sriracha and, wait for it, a little five spice powder. I mean, if we're going Asian, let's, you know, what the hell? Let's make this something to remember. Max is looking over his shoulder for that pterodactyl which we think was a hawk? Something like that, yeah. Hyde Unlikely Lewis. it would be a, huh? Hyde Lewis. Lewis. Glorious. And if you're looking at this going, ah, oh, weird ingredients, not sure I like it, then forget this part. Do what you like. Use some uh, a creamy ranch that you've got in your fridge. It's technique is really what today's about, isn't it? We hope. We hope it's technique that works too. Okay, um, we're gonna go away. You won't notice. When we come back, it will be time to dip the, well, the, the onion into the flour and then we fry. All right, flour and this, the onion. This has to go in here. So very gently. <sighs> Why does this freak me out so much? I mean, I can cook like a whole prime rib on the grill and have it come out perfect in a stupid onion? I know why. Why? Because you're not the most delicate person. And All this right. requires a soft touch. All right. Oh, gardeners are back. We'll wait five minutes, okay? You're scared. Anything to not have because to do you're this. Scared, yeah. So gent look at that one's gonna we're gonna lose that guy. I'm just still trying to gently open them up. I really want to make sure that everybody's got some of this buttermilk on it on them, like all in here, right? I think, sorry, I'm just, I'm being so anal because it didn't work last time. I don't even know how far we got, but I really want this to work. All right, so in this, now, and this. Now let most of it drip off. I'm still being gentle. And now we go into the flour. I'll go face down like that. Oh, shit. And I lost the leaf. You drop it. Damn you. Couldn't have just rested it nicely. I thought I was being careful. Don't talk to me now, I'm mad. Now clearly that's not gonna work. So here's the problem. The problem is, okay. I think the oil will separate those. It's not going to, not if they're stuck it's now. Not. Look at if there's none of this flour in there. Oh. You know what, now I know why I didn't do this. Complete this, because it's a freaking pain in the ass. And I'm feeling like it's not nearly as wet as they're supposed to be, these pieces. We're losing it, people. It's not happening, man. This dumb thing's going in the frickin' oil, but I'm telling you right now, it is not, uh, I I might not even do this again a third time if this doesn't work. I'm so pissed right now. Look at, nope, it's doing this nothing. This is not some like super complicated- Well, I can't do it. I, th I, 
it's like he didn't do a second of research after I the did. last time. I did. That's not true. It's the same exact thing that we went through the last time. It's not true. Look at see. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna end up wearing this fucking thing. Look at. I have to separate every stupid one of these. Is it a two-person job? Do you need help? No. No. Look, I'm just working on all these back leaves now. Hi, my name is Max, and my dad can't make a blooming onion. <laughs> You've asked me to make all kinds of things, and I've always been able to, right? Yeah. Except now. I just don't get it. I don't know. It looks like it's... it's it looks like it's what? Like it's working. I don't know. You're acting like it's the Here's worst what I need. Ever. I need it. Beth, can you bring me a baking sheet, please? Stat. I just feel like I don't have enough. I don't have enough room to work with. That's the problem. Just figured it out. Not enough room. Now look, here's here's the problem. Like these pieces, I got to get in every nook and cranny. If you've ever powdered a baby's butt when they're little, you know you got to get this stuff everywhere. And that's basically what I'm having to do. Now I've at least I've got a little room to work with here. Why is Cowboy Kent Rollins using egg? Oh, shut up, fucking egg. Egg's not helping. Lack of egg is not my problem here, bud. Sounds like you don't know what your problem is. I do know what my problem is. It's looking good, actually. Oh, see right here? Look, look, look at this. Here we go. Now I'm on to the inner layers. Everybody can make a blooming onion except for us. <laughs> By the way, don't try this at home, because it'll make you freaking crazy. Blooming onion, the hardest recipe I've ever made. This could end my whole cooking guy career. What happened to Sam? I don't see him on YouTube anymore. Well, the Blooming Onion kicked his he ass. He lost his mojo after the Blooming Onion He incident. couldn't do anything. He couldn't even hard boil an egg after this. See, I know what you need. You need a lot of room is what you need. And I ain't got a lot of room here, guys. Should be like a five minute video that has now become 12 hours. I put it so far out of my head, I didn't want to revisit this again. And now, I think we might have done this on some level that we can try. Okay, I'm done here. My work is here is done. What I'm prepared to do next is put this in the oil. And if you're okay with that, then let's go over there and make this happen. All right, so we're going in face down, gently. And we're lower, we're gonna give it to two minutes. Looks like a white pumpkin from the top. This thing took me like an hour to dredge and 10 minutes to wash my hands and get all that stuff off. <laughs> I'm going to flower in my nails for the next three days. So I'm guessing a couple minutes face down and then we turn the guy over. Everybody keep their fingers crossed that this works. Because if it doesn't, you may never see it again. All right, we hit two minutes. Let's just have a look on the side and see how it's looking. How's it look? Awesome. Awesome blossom. Should we get like one more minute? Yeah. One more minute. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. How am I supposed to flip this? All right, let's try and get this guy turned. You need another utensil to put on the bottom? I do. I, I, I don't know what I've done here. I, I, I'm... Get a spoon. Wait, no, I think... God, I, I can do this. Beth, can I have a, a small square plate, please? Really fast. That's not square, by the way. Now we do this. Oh, my God. And we do this. Oh, uh, I'm so scared. And back we go. Hey now! And it looks pretty! Finally, Max! I think we did it. You know how many people are sitting at home right now going, this guy complained for an hour and a half about making the world's simplest thing. Yes. <laughs> yes, he did. Okay, actually, it's this amazing. is like fucking picture perfect. Look at how it's coming out. Hello, gorgeous. Back you go. Don't want to play too many games. Something will go wrong for sure. So I think we're looking for probably a five, six minute overall cooking time. And of course, if you don't have a deep fryer, you can do this in a big pot on your stove. The oil somewhere around uh, 350, 360. I got that yummy, yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, I think our blooming onion is not just ready, but it might be gorgeous too. Two years in the making, thousands of onions sacrificed. But finally, the boys got what they wanted. All right, I say it's time. Let's put this thing someplace that we can eat it. 
And gentle, gentle, gentle. There we go. Oh, and think our sauce. And while it's still hot, just a little salt and pepper because it'll stick a lot better. Well, this guy's warm. There we go. Perfect. Look at my little friend. I'm proud. I think I did an okay job. I don't know how they do it in a restaurant to make a whole bunch of them, but this worked for me. With all the screaming and complaining. Don't talk to I me can't do it. Be Then you just get one. You gotta try it by itself first without sauce, right? You know what it tastes like? Onion rings. <laughs> the most difficult onion rings I've ever made. But wait. But now you do this. Grab a couple pieces and come down here to our little Asian dipping sauce. Oops, I lost it. Come on. There we go. That. There's a bite right there. Garlic. Five spice. Oh, what do you say? Hey, out back. Get your Asian on. <clears throat> so damn good. It was a challenge. And it's not happening, man. I thought I was being careful. Don't talk to me now, I'm mad. I'm gonna end up wearing this fucking thing. I can't do it! Shouldn't be. Wasn't that complicated. But now that I've done it once, I don't think I ever have to do it again. But I want you to try it. The struggle was real for me. Probably won't be for you. But the fact remains, here's our goal. Make you cook something different. Don't eat the same thing all the time, all right? This could be a good job for kids that got those little hands, getting all the flour in there. Put them to work. I'm not saying make them slaves, but for God's sakes, if you got kids, you're paying for all their junk. They got to do something around the house, right? Right, boys? Right. right. Thanks, everybody. See ya. It's gorgeous. I'm like a, I'm like a proud father.